All right, today we're going to be talking about how to add and subtract in word problems. So we'll be mixing back and forth between adding and subtracting. We'll be applying the count on strategy for addition and subtraction in order to solve these problems. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to learn about how to use count on strategies, and uh, you're also going to learn about taking from strategies as well. Our first problem here says there are two ducks in a pond. More ducks join them. Now there are five total ducks. How many more ducks join? So the first thing is we take these two ducks. So here we have our two ducks. And then we're going to count on to get to that five. Uh, so we're going to use that additional addition count on strategies to solve this to find out how many more ducks. So I'm going to say two, three, four, five. So that gets us to our five ducks. Um, and I know that this is a group of one, one, two, three. So it would be three. So three more ducks join them. So we have that one, two, three ducks. So three more ducks join them. So in this problem, two plus blank equals five. I know that that blank would be three because three more ducks join them. Let's move on to the next problem here. Here we have uh, four ducks play in the park. More dogs join them. So this is just like the last problem. Six total ducks, or total, excuse me, total dogs. So let's go ahead and get this problem um, right now here. So we have our uh, four plus blank equals six. So let's get our four dogs. There's our four dogs. So four, and we're going to count on to the six over here. So I know that four dogs, and I'm going to actually go ahead and, um, so here we have five, six dogs. So you can see here is our next group. So we have our five and six, and that's one, two dogs. So there are two in this group. So four plus two equals six. So we can see that that problem works out that way. And now we're going to um, apply, uh, we talked a little bit earlier in other videos about how to use a number line to solve this. So we can use a number line to help solve uh, these, these problems as well, um, the word problems. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. There are a fish some swim away. So they're swimming, swimming away. So we know we're going to be dealing with a subtraction problem on this one. So here we're going to deal with a subtraction problem. So we have, um, now there are six total fish. So we had eight fish, some swam away, now there's six. So uh, we had eight total, some swam away, now we're left with six. All right, so we know that we are left with six fish. Let's go ahead and start at that six line, and we're going to count on to get to that eight. So six, seven, eight. So six, seven, eight, that was one, two. So I know that eight minus two equals six, and I know that six plus two equals eight, because we know that um, addition and subtraction are opposite operations. So how many fish swam away? Two fish swam away. I use the count on strategy to do that. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, five children are in line. More children get in line. Now there are seven children. So we're adding to that problem here. So how many more children get in line? All right, so we're gonna start at our five here. And we're gonna count on to get to seven there, right? So five, six, seven. So that's one, two, just like that last problem. So five, five plus two equals seven. And the subtraction is the opposite operation. So seven minus two equals five. Let's do the next one. There are nine children. Some are girls, six are boys. How many are girls? All right, so here we are taking um, we're, we're uh, taking some children and saying some are girls and six are boys and how many are girls. So let's go ahead and start at our six here. So here's our six and we're, that's representing the six boys. 
And now we're going to find out how many are girls. How many are girls? So we're going to start at six boys. So six, seven, eight, nine. So if you're looking at that, we've got one, two, three. So nine minus three equals six. So there are three girl, three children are girls. All right, Brian has six grapes. So we've got six grapes right here that are Brian's grapes. Some are green, four are red. We're trying to find out how many grapes are green. Some are green, four are red. So we know that we're going to start with that four red. And then we're going to be counting on to six. So four, five, six. So if I look at that, I've got one and two. So I know that six minus two equals four. And I know that there are two grapes that are green. And let's try this next one. It's a little bit different, uh, but it makes sense. And uh, we'll be able to solve it. Seven kites are flying, some fall. Now there are four kites. How many kites fall? All right, so let's go ahead and get our four kites up or are, there are seven kites flying. We know that there are four that stay up. So here are our four kites. So we've got one, two, three. There's our four kites. One, two, three, four. And some of them fall. So there are a total of seven. So let's see. We're going to see how many fell. We're going to do that in a blue color. So one, two, three. And we're going to count up to seven. Five, six, seven. So if I look at this group right here, I can see that there are three in that group, um, three in that seven group. So we can take a look at that. And um, actually, we need to we need to uh, delete this six right here because that doesn't that doesn't go with this problem. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put that seven there because that seven represents the amount of kites. So seven minus, and then we go back and we see this three. It's going to be right there. Seven minus. 3 equals 4. So 3 kites fell. The red represents this red right here. This represents the amount of kites that are still in the air. Yay! And this 3 represents, this 3 right here represents how many fell. So 3 fell. So 7 minus 3 equals 4. And that is how you can use count on for addition and subtraction word problems. Have fun!